Alright, so now we're going to go over a different situation that uh, it's very likely to have an e-bar set up, which is the closed guard. So keep in mind, when you uh, attack attacking a leg lock, you want the leg straight, right? And in a situation that happens a lot, it's when you have a closed guard and the person uh, is trying to stand up and get off your guard, right? So his leg at that point is straight, so uh, we should try to take advantage of this attack. And another thing to keep in mind too, uh, it's very it's very good to combine uh, two attacks at the same time and uh, the person when you worry about one attack you have space and time enough to go for the second attack in this case the first attack would be the omoplata attempt right we're gonna attack an omoplata at the same time that we're thinking about the second option which will be the new bar so this is what it's gonna look like we have a closed guard here and then the person on top is doing a, a good job about standing up, keeping the posture right, and then we land right in this position. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna try and grab the opposite sleeve, okay? So when he postures up, I'm trying to reach out this underhook here, okay? So one arm goes under his heel, and then now I'm trying to open up the leg and attack an omoplata, okay? So I have an omoplata set up here. What's gonna happen? He worries about the omoplata, then he postures, right? So I'm losing, okay? I'm losing the omoplata at this point. What, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna uh, slide this knee, okay? My left knee, the one that is uh, approaching the omoplata. I'm gonna slide this down, okay? And from here, I'm gonna bump him to an e-bar. So I'm gonna lift my hip, and finish here with the hit down knee bar from the closed guard. So he stands up, I'm grabbing the sleeve, I'm reaching uh, under the, the heel here, and I'm swinging over to the omoplata. When he postures up and I see that I'm losing the omoplata, this leg here, the one that attacked the omoplata, uh, switch, uh, switch the knee inside. So I, I turn my leg in, and at the same time that I give a torque and use my forehead as base to finish this straight down leg lock. So if you don't use your forehead in this situation, it's going to be uh, tough to put leverage in off on his hip uh, and finish the leg lock. So at the same time that you're hooking that heel, it's very important to switch your head over and finish with the forehead on the mat. Okay, so one more time, he stands up, and then uh, I reach for the sleeve, I underhook this leg, okay? And then as I attack the omoplata, he's posturing up, I'm just gonna point his knee down, okay? And from now on, I need to do two very, very important things. One is my forehead on the ground, and the second one will be uh, lifting my hip up, actually, and trying to, to reach as high as I can. So I have two levers. Uh, of the head and the, and the arm on the bottom and also my hips on the top. So I switch and my knee goes down, my hips are strong enough to be on top of his knee and finish up the leg lock.